Welcome to the Dog and Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Made a video on Friday talking a little recruiting, more specifically on the offensive line. I think Tennessee is in it deep with some big-time prospects. A couple of those guys we mentioned in that video, five-star offensive tackle Andrew Babalola out of Kansas. Uh, he's a guy that, according to VolQuest, Tennessee continues to have good dialogue with. Uh, Tennessee is one of the teams that stands out early in this process. Going to be back on campus in June for an official visit. Uh, we've talked a lot about Jalen Matthews, four-star offensive tackle out of New Jersey. Tennessee hit a home run with a visit back in February. Another guy that will be here officially over the summer in June. Uh, I think I'm safe saying Tennessee's probably the leader there with Jalen Matthews. A couple of the guys were in town this weekend. Juan Gaston, four-star offensive tackle out of Georgia. Also, Douglas Utu, a four-star offensive tackle out of Las Vegas. But the big guy that was in town that everybody's talking about, five-star offensive tackle, David Sanders. He's out of Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, the number one offensive tackle in this class. Took in his first practice on Saturday. Uh, great relationship with Coach Ellerbe. And he, he talked about in his interview with VolQuest, how intense the practice was and an ongoing theme. And it wasn't just with the offensive linemen. It was also with some of the wide receiver prospects that were in town. Everybody's talking about this coaching staff and teachable moments and how they get on their players, but they also lift them up. They teach them, they develop them. That seemed to be an ongoing theme uh, and with catching up with the recruits that were in town over the weekend. Talked about the personal connection that this coaching staff has not only with himself, but with his family. He's a big family guy from his grandparents, his parents, his siblings. Uh, so Tennessee, I think, nailed the visit with David Sanders. He's going to be back in town next weekend for the Orange and White game. Then he will visit officially over the summer. Tennessee is deep in this one, guys. I think Tennessee has a shot to land some of these elite offensive tackles in the class of 2025. But there's one that I kind of I kind of wrote off. I, I didn't think Tennessee was in it because kind of faded more and more. And that's this guy right here, Josh Petty. Uh, he's a five-star offensive tackle, 6'4", 265, top 20 prospect. Absolutely huge prospect. Grew up a Tennessee fan, but they've kind of fallen off the radar. Less and less talk about Josh Petty in Tennessee recently, but you can see the tweet on the screen. Now, this came out from Hayes Fawcett yesterday talking about all the offers that Josh Petty has received, uh, but when you take a look at who, quote, tweeted that. Now you can see it on the screen. Austin Price tweets out, grew up a Vol fan, which we all knew that, says don't count Tennessee out of this one just yeah. Now, again, grew up a Tennessee fan, visited a couple of times uh, during the spring last year, also visited for the Georgia game. Uh, this is a quote after one of those visits during the spring. It says, I mean, Tennessee's great. It's a great place. I really like Coach Heupel. Really like the offensive line coach Ellerby. I really like what they're doing over there. Uh, it's been a special place to go visit. Growing up as a kid, being one of those guys that always looked at the players and watched the games and now being able to be recruited by my favorite team growing up, it's a special Thing. So is there any momentum here? Austin Price, one of the best in the business when it comes to following recruiting and Tennessee. Do the Vols have a shot at another five-star offensive tackle? Again, the ones I rattled off, David Sanders, Andrew Babalola. You know, you got a lot of guys out there that are legitimate offensive tackles. Does Tennessee have a shot with Josh Petty? We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. But as always, I need you guys to do all the YouTube stuff. Hit the thumbs up just below this video. We would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the Talking Balls Network, welcome. Uh, we're not experts. We're not insiders. We're not media. We don't talk at you here. We talk with you. This channel is for the fans, by the fans. If you like what we do, make sure you subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. You're not going to miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. Had a fun fan call-in show last night, man, breaking down Three weeks of spring practice. If you missed it, go back, give that a watch. Going to be live tomorrow night, Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, playing NCAA football, but talking all things ball football. And then Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to go a little deeper with recruiting. Uh, may have a special guest. We'll see, but make sure you tune in Wednesday night as well. But let's get into it. Let's talk specifically about Josh Petty. And again, we take a look at the profile here, 6'4", 265 out of Roswell, Georgia. He is a five-star prospect, 18th ranked player in the country according to the on three industry rankings. You can see there, 247 Sports has him a little higher. We don't really care what rivals or ESPN has to say. On three has him as the 33rd best prospect in the country. But the bottom line, he's an elite offensive tackle. And like I said in the video Friday, you're, you're not going to land all of these guys, right? You're, you're not. you got to get your fair share. Do you get David Sanders? Can you get two of the five stars? Can you lock down Josh Petty, Andrew Babalola, David Sanders, two of the three, one of the three, and then fill in the blanks there with Jalen Matthews, uh, Juan Gaston, Douglas Utu, 
wide net. A wide net has been cast in this class of 2025. Who are your priorities? Who, who are your priorities on this offensive line? Put it in the comment be- uh, section below and let's talk about it. Uh, but Josh Petty, as a player, we can go take a look at the scouting report here. And actually, I know you guys like to see film. You guys like to judge for yourself. So that's what I'll do. I'll throw some Josh Petty highlights up here, and then we'll take a look at the scouting report from 247 Sports. This comes from Gabe Brooks. Uh, says, high-level offensive tackle prospect who could legitimately project as a Power 5 defensive lineman as well. Size and length are unverified, but looks apart on the hoof, relatively lean with ample frame space for adding mass. A full-time two-way snaps and impress on both sides of the ball, quicker off the ball on offense than defense, but flashes superior or surprising linear closing speed and pursuit. Uh, Georgia 2A state champion wrestler, you guys know that. Anytime I see a wrestler that plays on the offense or defensive line, their, their ability to use leverage gives them an advantage. Uh, so 2A state champion at the 285 weight class as a sophomore. Uh, wrestling prowess translates into body control and hand-to-hand combat strength. Uh, can get punchier but plays angry. Finish, finishes blocks. Mean streak is obvious. A motivated drive blocker who also climbs to the second level with relative ease. Very young for the 2025 cycle. Naturally high center of gravity but cognizant of leverage firing off and engaging defenders. Needs more consistent measure of pass pro ability but functional athleticism suggests ample potential. Uh, goes on to say here we'll face significant significant jump in competition going from lower level high school uh, to high major level, but consistent dominance at multiple positions is promising. Ideally, verified information data will become available after spring 2024. Athletic profile and on-field evidence suggest immense developmental developmental potential, even with without full catalog of data. Uh, lastly, it says could become a multi-year starter at a high major level with NFL draft early round upside, especially if measurement catches uh, met checks out. So that's the scouting report on five-star offensive tackle Josh Petty. So where where is Tennessee at in this thing? Again, kind of been quiet, not a lot of talk, not a lot of buzz. As I mentioned earlier, he visited a couple of times during the spring and during the, during the summer of last year. Also was in town officially for the Georgia game in 2023. Has not been back to campus since then. Then uh, and then I, I, after the tweet from Austin Price, I'm starting to get fired up, starting to get excited. I see this pop out. Uh, this is from On Three Recruits. They tweet out, "Josh Petty is locked in official visit." So I get excited. I think, all right, he's going to have his official visit locked into Tennessee, and we're going to start to see some momentum here for the five-star offensive tackle. But you can see the tweet on the screen. No Tennessee mentioned. You go take a look at the article from On3 that's referenced in this tweet. Uh, it says, with an, a, an important summer approaching, Petty is locking in his officials. Uh, he'll take Clemson, Auburn, Oregon, and Stanford. You see the dates there on the screen, according to Steve Wiltfong. Petty is coming off of a busy March that saw trips to Clemson, Georgia Tech, Georgia, Auburn, Texas, and Florida State. He's continuing to work through his recruitment, which has featured heavy pressure from a batch of high profile programs uh, this is a quote from josh petty himself says committing is hard heard that from everybody a lot of people tell me to go with my heart and that wherever feels like home is probably home uh, i've got that feeling about a couple of schools so i just have to figure out which ones feel the most like home so the question is is josh petty comfortable with tennessee he's already been here a few times he grew up a tennessee fan or is tennessee fading the tweet from austin price what does that mean to you tennessee still in this one it's not over yet now chad simmons back at the end of february put out an update said that josh betty was hoping to visit over a half dozen schools this spring so that you know that makes me think he's casting a wide net he is giving himself an opportunity to see a lot of different schools but then it says lock in official visits in june then see how he feels about a commitment petty will commit when he feels ready and is not set on a summer decision georgia has some buzz around it heading into spring but petty is still exploring all options so could it be a case of he takes these officials throughout summer <clears throat> but then he rolls into the regular season and he shows up on campus in tennessee for a game day tom loy of 247 sports this was last month says josh petty's got a big big march and a lot of visits he's got clemson georgia tech georgia auburn florida state on the schedule he's got some ties with georgia tech they're a dark horse he goes on to say i'm also watching clemson and tennessee tennessee is a very legitimate contender 
He grew up a Volunteers fan. Clemson and Dabo Sweeney are doing a phenomenal job. They can land him and pair him with David Sanders. What a haul that would be at the tackle position. Well, Tennessee deep in it there, too. Again, these are big boy recruiting battles. Guys, big boy recruiting battles. Some of these are going to go all the way up to signing day. What are your thoughts on Josh Petty? Because it kind of blew my mind when Austin Price put out the tweet. But still, a lot of guys on campus this past weekend. David Sanders, I think Tennessee has a very very realistic shot having him back on campus back-to-back weekends here and then rolling into an official over the summer and then he's going to pull the trigger going prior to his senior season of football I I think Tennessee's got a good shot here I think they're in a good place with some of these elite offensive linemen prospects but I want to hear from you guys in the comment section as always smash the thumbs up on the way out the door you can go check out the Talking Balls merch at bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Balls we appreciate all the support also shout out to the members of the channel make sure your memberships are up to date hit that join button down below you can support this channel for just a dollar a month we would appreciate it but if not smash the thumbs up that's quick free and easy jump over here in the comments section let's talk some Tennessee football because this is the Talking Balls Network my name is Boogie Bentley go Big Orange